Oh, it's weird, it's surreal. I mean, I, I, yeah, I know this building from old, but uh, it's, uh, it's a new lease of life it's getting tonight, I suppose. It's going to be really exciting. I mean, I've seen a little bit of the clip that they're going to show, but, uh, you know, this is, this is such a fan-driven um, enterprise and um, franchise. Franchise, you could call it. That's a terrible, that's a terrible one. Um, but uh, I think they're going to be in for such a, a ride on this with so many cliffhangers and questions unanswered and unanswered. And it's just, it's, it's a great pull into a massive sort of chapter, history ending chapter of this, of this enterprise. So it's, it's, it's really exciting. It's so frustrating not to be able to sort of say this, this, and this, that, and the other. But I mean, you know, expectations are really high and I hope we meet them. But certainly as a page turning reader for the first time, I, you know, it just, I couldn't believe what they were getting away with plotting. It's very exciting. That daunting, like really daunting. School. Yeah, yeah, of course. And, and not just because uh, of, of their, their prowess in the film industry, but also these characters have been on arcs now for 10 years. So it's kind of, it is a little bit nerve-wracking. It's a bit, you know, you, you feel, it's not small fish in a big pond. They're very welcoming. It's just how to fit in with your character and facilitate that, as well as hold on to you know, the integrity of what you've done, in my case, one standalone film. So, um, yeah, they made it easy, though. I had a great time doing it. I think a little bit, you know, there's some stuff we might have to retro-engineer if he makes a, another appearance in a, in, a, in a standalone film, but, um, yeah, he does some crazy, crazy cool stuff, and, and also I think he plays less the sort of petulant adolescent, he's more the grown-up in the room as far as the two um, goateed egos that, that meet, as we know from the clip that's shown tonight, him and uh, Stark, she has some screen time, which is, obviously it's fun, it's great to have those two in the room, like the Russos said, they really wanted to see that, Kevin wanted to see that, and frankly said, I wanted to act with Robert Downey Jr., who would he is heaven. He uh, he really is. He's a great. He's a great guy, and he's a he's a shining example of how to be a good leading man. And he's just very inclusive, facilitates you having a good time, makes sure you've been taken care of in Georgia, Atlanta. It's just the whole thing. He's very cool. Oh, massively, I think you can't take yourself too seriously, and neither should this material. It's you know, it's it's high end tentpole entertainment, but it's also. It should be a great deal of fun, but there are you know there are emotional turns in this, and there is some like there always are with Marvel and any pop culture. There's a sort of footprint of whatever political social zeitgeist um, is around, and uh, these characters came into being on the page through the drawers and the and the scripters, um, you know, who were writing during the first or second or second rather, and the Cold War, and and then um, you know the occult in my um, case with Doctor Strange, where. Eastern philosophy started bleeding over into Western culture, so these things are always impressed upon by those things. But we keep it light, and I think I think that's what Marvel does brilliantly: it's balancing the kind of profane with the profound. I mean, you know, it's gross what 14.7 billion dollars. So that says it all. They're the ones stumping up the money for the ticket. So uh, it's incredibly important. And yet, I think what they've done brilliantly is both manage expectations for the comic book nerds and experts, as well as the film buffs and also confound those expectations at time. Kevin, really, Kevin Dan, Victoria, uh, Victoria, sorry, obviously, um, and, and Louis um, Desposito as well, but I don't think it would be possible to do Fans Justice without Kevin. He's extraordinarily um, embroiled in the whole world, and, you know, God knows, I mean, he, he verbally explains it, but the kind of post-it note version of the mass storyboard of this is like a pinnacle of, I, it's, it's a work of genius that he's managed to construct all this for 10 years, you know, people have had families, people have had life-changing things, and yet, yeah, you know, here we are, and he's still inventing it, still bettering with every film, and um, those brothers are something else to watch them work together, that's pretty cool.